and action welcome back everyone uh i'm back really uh so yeah just had it to, I, I really i needed to take saturday off and i decided i was just gonna take the whole weekend off uh not memorial day uh because right now as i'm i mean as i'm filming this is sunday but like it's monday for you guys so happy memorial day um and all that good stuff but um you know m more importantly um, the reason I took off was, is, you know, I was just dealing with some personal stuff. Um, you know, I'm, I'm fine. But, um, it was, Saturday was just a really, um, long day for me. And, um, yeah, that's, that's what I'm going to say. I don't really want to get into it. It's a bit personal. I think it's just too personal for me to be sharing. But, I'm fine. If you guys are worried, I'm, I'm absolutely fine. I know I had a couple people messaging me uh, asked me if i was okay and and yeah i'm, I'm fine 100 fine um but let's just hop right into it so we um well actually let's uh do some i got some uh footage from i think it was friday night so roll that footage oh oh well, hey it's christian or xanadu xanda from uh yesterday the night before uh, if you can see here, Mothra has cocooned. I thought he was attacking Tokyo at first, but he actually cocooned. Uh, his stress is feeding pretty high, actually. I thought he was attacking it at first, but he's a cocoon, so I, as you can see, I can't scold him because it is a cocoon. But it looks like his effort, his, effort, uh, his justice meter is getting bigger. So I don't know if that's because I'm holding him or just because he is attached to the tower and is cocooned now but uh this is the worst timing because it is eight on here but in real life it's like 12 so he's gonna be like this for an hour and then he's gonna evolve but i hope i'm pretty sure by tomorrow whatever he'll evolve into he'll still be but that's like for you that's gonna be like a second um but yeah uh i have a busy day tomorrow so thankfully this happened tonight and not tomorrow uh, but yeah all right well there you go sorry for the uh, noise i got my fan on in the background but at least i got to document this all right back to me in the present or the future to me all right bye okay so as you could see there mothra uh, at first, it was really funny when it happened because I like schooled the crap out of it. I was like, "Hey!" I thought it was attacking Tokyo Tower. Quite the opposite. What it was doing was cocooning itself on Tokyo Tower, and so yeah, that's the cocoon phase. I don't know if that looks different for each evolution, or they use the same cocoon, but uh, that's how it looks like. And it's only in that stage for an hour. So for an hour, I kind of waited around kept an eye on it and it did evolve and it evolved into a mothra a beautiful one this one's really cute really small i feel like this is a, a different mothra than like the normal one you can get on here i think maybe i don't know this he just seems so small you know it's adorable 10 years old now jesus um oh he's not gonna eat duh let me give him a, a snack see him eat look how cute that is but yeah he's a very very tiny little boy uh i don't know if, if like the mothra forms get bigger too like the larval forms but uh they were about this small when they first hatch from the cocoon and they're still about this small so i really don't know if, what's the case with that i don't know if he's gonna get bigger or smaller or if this is a guy or a girl because i don't know she looks i feel like it'd be a girl just because she's so small and cute but you know i don't want to i don't know could be either i have no idea all i know is that they're very small and they're very cute and i, and I love them so that's what's really important so, got some bad news on this side. Now, overall, they look fine. However, the sound of this, I feel like it's a lot louder. Maybe I was playing with this with no sound, but I don't know, the sound seems a lot louder. Um, so, updates on my, not my Yosmon, on Piedmon and Beals won last match. So, Piedmon lost its first battle. So, we won, we won the first match, uh, which was pretty epic, and it was cool. But the second match was a mirror match, and it was with someone else with the Piedmon. And... We lost, uh, which sucks. But I mean, we're losers, so there's a chance that we can crawl, claw out of this and try to get to uh, the top. I just want to win one of these damn tournaments. <laughs> um, I, I came in like 
unprepared though because one i had zero effort i have max effort now but i had zero effort which was a dumb move um and um yeah also for some reason i don't know why piedmon is not his super hit is supposed to be like 15 plus right i'm gonna do 15 actually 16. Oh, 16 right not a mega hit what the hell and i and before anyone asks you know oh did you change the battery yes i literally went through i changed the three batteries i went to a, a one that was less used and i did a brand spanking new battery there's a brand spanking new battery in here and for some reason i cannot get him to do a mega hit the closest i can get is i think six or seven Let's see that That's the closest I can get. Um, I don't know, and I, I don't know what the hell is up with that. I really don't. Um, hopefully, I don't have to crack this damn thing open again, just for it to like start working. Like I, I had, I've had to do that before, although it was worse, where I was getting literally zero, which, which now I think we know is a, like a battery issue more so than a, um, more, more of a battery issue than like a, an issue you need to open it up for. You just get a new battery. But I popped a new battery in here, and it's the same battery, it's the same brand I always use, uh, that I've been using for a very long time, it's the Energizers. Um, so I, I don't know, I, I really don't know what it is, and it's kind of frustrating me, because, you know, I, I've really got to be careful and lose this bracket. Um, so, but if I can't get a good count, then like, what's the point? Um, you know, I mean, who knows, there's a lot of people using Pen 20ths. So I might have to fight someone else with the pen 20th rules. And if I do, I really need to figure out what I got to do for this count for it to work. And I, again, I just, I don't know what it is. And it's kind of annoying me, um, but I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. You know, if, if it's not in the cards and it's not meant to be, then it's just not meant to be. Um, but that's going to be it. I was going to, tomorrow, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show off Piedmon in battle because I can't remember who mentioned it. Someone commented, they like were like, please show Piedmon in action. Um, and I don't mind because Piedmon's super dope. I like him a lot. And um, I haven't done like any battles with these two. So I'll be showing that off tomorrow. And also tomorrow, since Beelzebub on Blast Mode is not being used in the tournament, I can already just Jogress him to... Uh, oh, sorry, Beelzebub on. This is not Blast Mode yet. He's not being used in the tournament, so I can draw him to blast mode. So I'll be showing that off tomorrow. I'll tell you guys about like the password system and stuff like that. Um, but I'll do that all tomorrow. It's really hot in the house, in my room right now, and also uh, I'm very tired. I was <laughs> cleaning. I'm well, cooking and cleaning, um, and that always takes a lot out of me. Uh, if you're wondering what I made, I made some spicy crispy chicken sandwiches, and oh my god, they were delicious. I don't mean to toot my own horn, but they were really good. Although. You know, it gave me like, just, I got like, I'm like tired now. You know what I mean? When you eat, you're like, whoa, I'm ready to take a nap. Like that's how I feel right now. So if I sound a little ugh, off, it's because of that. I feel like super tired. Um, you know, you, you eat something, you're just like, oh, I shouldn't have ate that. It was good, but I shouldn't have ate that. That's how I felt. And I made it with my own two hands. I am my own worst enemy. Just kidding. Uh, last thing before I go, there's been a huge, major, major update in World that I just kind of almost went completely past me, uh, but uh, Seki and Blue both kind of brought it to my attention, and it is probably one of the coolest updates they've done so far. They've added an item, an item system. There's an inventory system. There are now item drops. The NPC enemy Digimon are now all different. All the ones you saw before, which were, I believe, Edamon, Alekmon, and I can't remember who the other one was, and then Titanmon, who was the secret boss in the cave. All of them are new now, and they're all Digimon taken from devices where the Digimon aren't currently raisable in, which I like a lot because it kind of sets them apart. Um, so... I'll be showing off that sooner than later because it's such a cool update. Like, I love it. Whenever you defeat a Digimon, your name gets entered into this list. And when you kill the Digimon, you pretty much are almost guaranteed the item. But if someone else has defeated the Digimon before you, they have a chance to get the drop as well. Um, 
the drops so far are all cosmetic items, which is pretty dope. Um, and now uh, the new crafting system uh, requires certain items to craft other items. So you might need like three of this item, one of this item, and one of this item to get another item. Uh, right now, each enemy drops an item. There's four total. The secret enemy now is so much harder. Uh, and I don't know when I'm going to get that item, but I'll try to do it and show it off and show you guys. Um, but yeah, it, it, it's like I said, like pff, world, this is getting really cool. And I know a lot of you guys who don't own DCOMs, you know, you guys want to play world and hop in world. Um, right now they're currently figuring that out. So it actually might end up being a separate project. Uh, similar to World, but um, independent from raising with these and using like a DCOM or an ACOM. So stay tuned for that. Once that is released in, in any form, I'll be covering that too. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to mention that for all you folks out there. Um, yeah, that's it. I'm going to go. I'll be back tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Huge shout out to my patrons. You guys are the best. I really do appreciate your support and everyone, excuse me, see, I'm burping. Uh, everyone who uh, is still watching right now, thank you very much. Uh, you're part of a very small subsection of people that actually watch my videos all the way through. Uh, hearts, love you, love you, love you. Bye and cut.